Hi everybody in my TSTO Harry Potter group and YouTube channel. Okay, here we are for part two of the Newt's Nestle Exhausting Wizarding Tests. So, Barnaby is missing. Find him before you miss the potions, Newt's. So we did Herbology first. Now we are going to do Potions, Newt. I call them Newt's, but it don't matter. So, let's start out and see if we can find Barnaby. I think he'd go into the magical reserve or something along those lines. Oh, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> look at him. And he runs off. Okay. So now we meet with Kira. Yep, there we go. He's around there somewhere, I think. Okay, let's see what happens. Play out the thing. Barnaby, Barnaby, are you here? Barnaby, he's not here. But that doesn't mean he wasn't here earlier. If we don't find him soon, we're going to fail the potions, Newt. Let's search the area and see what we find. Ah, uh, puddle. Hmm. Kira, Kira, over here. It's Barnaby's tie. And it's in some sort of puddle of water. I wonder what happened here. There has to be a clue here. Let's investigate the water puddle a little closer. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Hmm. Ah, uh, we have some onlookers here. So, yeah, well, let's see what happens. We'll find them, then we'll do our test. Can only delay the inevitable so long. I'd rather get it done with. I want to get the beyond. I know some people are scared to and don't want to, but I want to. I've been at this the last, say, about three years, three or four years. In real time. It isn't a puddle of water at all. It has a bluish green color and it gives a burst of energy when you drink it. It could be a potion. What kind of potion do you suppose it is, Grogu? Hmm. Well, I don't know. <laughs> um. The traits of the puddle match the white eye potion. That makes sense. Barnaby was probably trying to drink it to stay awake. Yes, but it appears something happened and he spilled it. I can't tell if there was a struggle or Barnaby had simply lost his tie. Whatever happened, it stopped him from making it to the potions, Newt. Let's continue searching for clues. Sorry if I pause, but I have to really think to try to figure out what's going on because there's a lot of tests in here. Grogu, look! It looks like a trail of white eye potion drops. Perhaps if we fall perhaps if we follow the trail it will lead us to Barnaby. Great idea. Let's see where they take us. Okay. So what do I do? Um, oh, okay. That's weird. A door. So we're going to click here. Oh, he passed out. Just like I said. The white eye potion trail leads right over here. Uh-oh. Barnaby! We did it! We found him! Barnaby, wake up! We have to go! <laughs> Barnaby! He's out cold, even with Nurl bouncing up and down all over him. He really must have been awake for days. We have to figure out something. Well, we can't carry him all the way back to the potions classroom. Let's try to wake Barnaby up. Okay. 
Wow. I knew he's passed out somewheres. I figured that. He's starting to get a little weird, so I figured he must have been like just about to pass out. I know that feeling sometimes, so things you say don't make sense and kind of get a little skittish and Okay, let's do this. Come on. There we go. And Oh yeah, I'm just going to shorten it. There we go. Nothing we've tried has worked. Barnaby's in such a deep sleep. We need something louder than our voices. Is there a spell that can amplify sounds? I think it's sonorous. We can try sonorous. It will amplify our voice and wake Barnaby up. Brilliant idea, Grogu. You'll be loud enough to nearly wake the dead. Cast the amplifying term. Sonorous. Oh, no. Whoa, that's quite the <laughs> one to trace. Here we go. Now call out to Barnaby. Barnaby! Oh, he woke up. <laughs> Give it back, Darl. Uh, where am I? Barnaby, it's all right. You're in the boathouse. Oh, I, what am I doing here? We were hoping you could tell us. I remember staying up for days to revise. My body didn't seem to like that, so it tried to make me sleep. But I knew if I fell asleep, I'd probably miss a test. I decided to drink some wide-eyed potion. So it was, so it was wide-eyed potion. However, before I could drink the potion, Narl grabbed the bottle and ran off. By the time I chased him here, Narl drank the whole thing. After all that, I was so tired, I fell asleep on the spot. And how did you lose your tie? It must have fallen off when I was wrestling with Carl. Narl. Well, I hope you had a good nap because we're late for the potions, Newt. Oh, no! We have to hurry back to the potions classroom right now before Professor Tofty fails us. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, let's go do our newts. Okay, and I want to see how long this one is. Just three of five. Okay, I think there's five parts to each one then. Okay, now for the potions newt. Three, two, one, zero. Time's up. Class, let's start. <laughs> that was pretty fast. Wait, Professor, we're here. You certainly know how to make a dramatic entrance, Mr. Baby. Unfortunately, that entrance is technically too late. Only by a second or two. Please, Professor, let us convince you why, why we should take the potions, Newt. Oh, five stars. Man. That'd be good if we're doing something for stars. I get lots of stars through this, I'll tell ya. Here we are. You make a compelling argument. You may take the test. Please find your seats. Thank you, Professor. Good luck. I hope you make Professor Snape proud. Oh, boy. We'll begin with a written exam to test your ability to recall effects, facts, and recipes of certain potions. Take out your quills. It's time to begin. Oh, Lord. Uh, I'm really going to have to think long and hard on these quest next questions. What color does the draft of living death turn at the halfway Brewing point? Uh, point of brewing. Um, brewing pale lilac? Good. That's awesome. What potion causes whatever breathes it to choke and suffocate? Um, gas. I would say it's a gas. Choking gas, I would say. Yep. Got it. Now, let's see what happens here. Ah, 
I didn't realize these questions were going to be on the exam. You keep saying that. Which of these is an ingredient of swelling solution? Eh, I'd say swelling. Hmm. Bat spleen. Remember, you're allowed to wait, make one mistake and still get perfect score when you do each of these. If you finish the TLS cues, it lets you make a mistake. If brewed properly, this potion emits a silvery vapor. Hmm. Drought of Peace by a process of elimination. What ingredient do you juice in the making of dioxide? Oh, dox, doxyside. Seaside. Um, Bundy Mun? Yep, Bundy Mun. Okay, and. Identify the healing potion. Well, healing potion's easy. Wig and weld. I'm always afraid I'm going to press on the wrong one. Then it's like, uh-oh. But you're allowed to make one mistake. That's the perfect part about it. You are allowed to make a mistake. Okay. That's not much time left. I need to hurry and finish the last section of the written exam. Barnaby is falling asleep. <laughs> Look at him. We will now begin the practical exam. During this section, you will be great on how well you prepare potions. I hope you all do your best and make Professor Snape proud. He's not even around. This is probably where I will make a mistake. Now you'll need to finish this coughing potion. Do not make a mistake. This potion needs to be executed perfectly. Okay, I got it. Brilliant. Good, good. Oh, my palms are sweaty. Somewhere there's a song there. <laughs> now, properly crush these ingredients for a scintillation solution. That's a tongue twister. Okay, here we go. I know I say okay a lot, sorry. Me. <laughs> Barnaby just looks so exhausted. Okay, where is he? Woohoo! Okay. Here we go. Brew, brew, brew. Now, I hope you remember how to add cheese to your cheese base potion. Do so now. And remember, the cheese is for your cauldrons, not for your mouth. Ah, Love cheese. I think I was a mouse in a previous lifetime. Stir this aging potion using impeccable technique. Eh, how many times are we going to stir? Here we go. Okay. Now let's continue on with the rest of the practical exam. Oh, come on. How many more? That concludes the potions, Newt. You may all resume breathing now. <sighs> Mr. Baby, there's one more thing. While I was administering the test, I received word that an Elton Elderberry would like to meet with you. Elton? I wonder what that could be about. I don't even know this Elton and Elderberry, so I wouldn't presume to say. Thank you, Professor. I'll give Elton a visit right now. Oh, good. Test is done. Okay, go see Elton. Meet with Elton. What does he want? Hi, Elton. I heard you wanted to see me. Ah, Mr. Baby. Herbert Ch Chewsworthy III and I were just speaking about you. Herbert here believes you're going to perform extra well 
extraordinarily well on the newts. That's quite kind of Herbert, but it's still too early to say. I've only taken the herbology and potions newts so far. And which subject was more difficult? Potions was harder than herbology. You aren't alone in that sentiment. The potions newt tends to ruffle many a feather. But beware, the biggest challenges are yet to come. If I recall, the newts do not get easier as you progress. And for me to recall something that happened so long ago, it must be true. Thank you for the tip, Elton. This isn't the only tip I have for you. If you help me make tea, I'll tell you more about the transfiguration newt. Well, we better make him some tea because we're going to need all the help we can get. Because there's some really difficult spells in there, even if you're trying to trace them. Oh, there's like, I'm probably going to fail or get a couple of mistakes because some of those you can't do. Um, okay. Here we go. Sorry about how long this takes, but I knew this was going to be a long one. Hold on. What is it doing? Why is it pausing? Every just thing just seems to be a pause in this game. It's like a delay. Come on. Sorry, I'm trying to click as fast as I can, but it actually pauses. I think it's just this T. What is going on? Um... Here we go, and almost there, and there. I think it's just to serve the tea. That's why it's pausing. I thought my screen was freezing. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see what he thinks. Okay, say something. Time's a wasting. Simply delightful. My taste buds are tantalized. I tried to make it just the way you like it. As promised, here's a hint regarding the transfiguration newt. Professor Tofty always puts a question regarding one of Professor McGonagall's favorite transfigurations. I don't know Professor McGonagall's favorite transfiguration spells. Well, it may behoove you to find out. You're certainly showing a lot of interest in the newts, Elton. Oh, I only keep tabs on certain students who show exceptional promise, and those who Herbert Chooseworthy the third takes a liking to. You happen to fit both those criteria. Both you and Olivia were interested in me specifically. Is there something the two of you aren't telling me? All I can say is the newts are the key to your future. So mysterious. Everyone needs a little mystery in their lives, but one mystery you can solve is finding out Professor McGonagall's favorite transfiguration spells. Thanks, Elton. I'll visit her straight away. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Well, let's go see Professor McGonagall and see what she has to say. I'm interested. Let's pick her brain. Meet with McGonagall. Here we go. Hi, Professor. Hello, Mr. Baby. You caught me enjoying a rare day without classes. I rarely get a chance to appreciate the beauty of Hogwarts. If you're looking for your friends, they're over there revising for the newts. Sorry, I'm not good with female voices. Thank you, but I'm actually here to see you. I'm doing some final preparations for the test and wanted to ask you about your favorite transfiguration spells. Five. Oh, so many fives. Okay, here we go. Wow. It takes so long. Well, I'm hoping you guys will find the... You will find these videos very helpful. I'm really hoping. And you can use my answers if you think, if they're wrong. Well, most of them I think were right. So you can use them anytime you want. I don't mind. 
So your favorite transfigured spells are Pure Totem, Locomotor, uh, Endless Sandwiches, and Avis. That's right. Pure Totem, Locomotor can bring inanimate objects to life. Endless Sandwiches conjures a plate of sandwiches and automatically refills when they're eating. And it's always enjoyable to teach Avis, which converts, conjures a flock of birds. How interesting. It is interesting. Or are you simply trying to pry test answers out of me? I'm innocent. I've simply been revising so much for Transfiguration. I was curious if you had a favorite. Hmm. Better late than never to learn about your professor, I suppose. As I told you after you help Andre with his fedora, you can excel at whatever you put your mind to. Stay focused and you'll do fine. I believe in you, Mr. Baby. Thank you, Professor. I'm off to Transfiguration's classroom. Okay, that is part two done. Wow, part three is coming up. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching the video. I actually got everything right. Wow, I've been trying to get as much, crammed in as much as I can. I'm no good at it, but I just got to associate stuff in your head with certain things. That's how you get the answers. Okay, thank you so much for watching the video. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel for everything Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery that I can find. And until next time, happy topping because this is the way.